welcome to Snake Island, guys. Where you can only get bit once and the hospital is 15 miles away. You may die. Okay, everybody, what we're looking at is Tycoon Lake in Ohio. This is considered Thurman, Ohio, which it's right off Rio Grande, or maybe it's a part of Rio Grande. Is that it? Well, anyways, guys, what's going on out here at Tycoon Lake is the water levels are really down. Like right here where I'm starting to step. But anyways, all of this right here used to be underwater, the lake is down considerably you used to not be able to walk around here it's all used to be underwater wow in fact if you look in the background there over on the concrete that used to be for the boats to dock to go out onto the lake that's how down it is a hey, way way over there is that uh what is that over there where the boat dock is is there a, an actual uh, it looks like it maybe it was off somebody's property or something what a dock maybe. we'll walk over and check it out we'll see if there's anything weird up here uh near the shoreline Hey, look, do you really think this came out of the lake? Look how big of a shell that is. Guys, watching on the on the camera or girls, whatever. Um, just be lucky you cannot smell this. It smells pretty bad. We have plenty of shells at home, right? So we don't need a shell. But I am surprised that this shell come out of the lake. Look, there's some more big shells, guys. I guess these are mussels or something. Well, look, this shell is intact. If I can get it, there's a piece of metal over the middle way there. Look, I'm not even magnet fishing, guys. And look what I just found. I just found something. <sighs> look, oh god. All right, don't know what that is. I if all the fish and everything are dying off. If you guys can see that. Not even magnet fishing. If you guys can see that, that is a shell. Looks like to a mussel or something. I'm going to lay my finds right there. Don't know what that was. May Actually, it looks like an artificial hip. No, <laughs> I don't know what it is. People been trying to fish at least. Look, right here, guys, you can see... This is the meat inside a mussel. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> People have been fishing out here. It doesn't look like it's very deep. The water's way, way down. The water's revealing all of its treasures. Broken beer bottles, glass. If you guys can see that right there. Yeah, there's a. There's another mussel shell right here. The water. Do they, how do they get up here? I don't know. I sure don't know. Those are pretty cool looking. I imagine when we throw our magnets in, it 
sometimes it penetrates down there's a piece of metal there it penetrates down into the mud and it um oh yeah yeah this is probably remnants of a dock here's a piece of metal would have got that magnet fishing now nah, i probably wouldn't have come up but right there's a piece of metal if you guys can see uh, the piece of metal up here this all used to be underwater i mean look it looks had fishing lines still wrapped around it all this right here all the way out used to be under the water and now it's just not the mud is or the the dirt is still soft in a lot of places right there is where they used to launch the boats into the water a pepsi bottle that looked like that right there a long time there's another one yeah i'd say that's been in here for quite a while if you look up there guys where it's um marked off now right there on the top of that concrete is where the water used to be in fact i'm gonna go look at this up here real quick let's see we have shoes if you guys can see that that is a shoe that's probably been in the lake it's not the lake anymore for a long time Ugh. boot another shell to a muscle you guys can see that stinks freshly dead okay some metal that would have came out of the river or the lake this right here looks like some sort of electric line to the dock area. Let's see what else is over by the dock area. A flashlight, a door, Dorsey or flashlight or dorky, whatever you want to call it. Oh shit, do you guys see that snake over there? Or a fudging rock at it. Huh? So there's a live snake over there? Yes. The freak is this, guys? A dead crawl dad, look at that. I saw a dead fish over there. Dead crawl dad. Dude, that snake, I don't like snakes. I have stuff in the car, you know, gloves and stuff, mm -hmm. that we can come back and get that. I, I wouldn't touch it. You'd get a brain-eating bacteria disease or something. There's another piece of metal. We're magnet fishing without the magnets. I think they do. So this is a twist. Magnet fishing with no magnets. Old bottle. Don't know what that is. See, that's what I saw up there. These things are heavy, guys. This thing right here, that, that is really heavy, and it's got like this metal hook. You guys tell me if you see a snake, and we'll run. Look. Yeah, look. Are these, is this baby tracks? Yes. 
We have less than an hour before the thunderstorm hits. Bottles. This lake does not disappoint with snakes. Every time I've come out here, snakes on a lake. <laughs> That's what they should rename this place. Snakes, what's left of a lake. Welcome to Snake Island, guys. Where you can only get bit once and the hospital is 15 miles away. You may die. What the? F yeah, I want to check it out, but I'm afraid like there's some... I don't want to say the S word. Be sure to wash your hands after this, guys. And you shouldn't eat at McDonald's right after you do this. Kind of normal size after all. Can you hear the thunder in the background? <clears throat> Here's this bottle, it says something on it. It says milliliter established 1855. No guys, I don't think it's that old, but gosh. Well, just watch for snakes. It's a rock. Wait, I don't know if it's metal or not. It has like some rust, looks like it's coming off there. <laughs> nice. Look at all these shells. Here's an old one. We're trying to get some old ones out of here, guys, with these bottles. This one looks like one of the first, like 1980 era kind of kind of bottle it says ski. ski on it do you remember those guys see it it says ski right on it it says dispose of properly on the label I saw that but it's right next to that nastiness It's metal, whatever it is. <clears throat> it looks like another sex toy. I'm, jo I'm joking. I don't know what it is. No, that is that metal? Or is that like a piece of burnt log? It's metal. That, that is metal, whatever it is, guys. The old 7-Up can. Hold on, I'm getting them. Now look, guys, this all used to be underwater. Making this find right over here. See, guys, a flashlight. This would have been underground. This is the batteries, this is the end of it, of the flashlight. So we found a flashlight. This would have been over by the dock. I never knew there was a dock here. I wonder if this is private Here's something else metal that would have been on the floor of the, the lake. Oh gosh, what kind of big paw track is that? See, look at that. That's metal right there. That's a whole lid. A lid to something. I wouldn't be Real. just, 
wouldn't just be pulling up uh, stuff around here. I know I keep saying snakes, but I don't have uh, anything like a knife, like a machete or anything for them. This is the dock at Tycoon Lake, which would have been awesome to pull these things out of the water if the water was still there. <laughs> Where? Down there at the edge of the water. Looks like it maybe. So guys, today we we are reverse magnet fishing. Which what that means is the water is way down. And the water used to actually go up there to where the trees are. All this used to be underwater. And I don't know why. Do you know why that the water you look how old that bottle is. Yeah, I've seen another one like I don't know if you want to take them back or not. We could um, see if they're worth anything. Yeah, that's a sign right there. There's an old sign in the water that we probably could have pulled out with the magnets. Don't know what it says. I should have said crikey, it's a snake. No, this is the only place, guys, I think if I throw a magnet in, the snake could wrap around the rope of the magnet. And there's a look back, guys, at the lake. Again, all the land used to be underwater all the way up to the tree lines. This is kind of like a magnet fishing, fishing, non-magnet fishing day. I'm trying to see the best way down there. Probably to go around and go through the woods right there. I might get a little power. Yeah, I'm just worried about it. I'd be more worried about the snakes and the rocks. <laughs> so I guess over the years they've lost quite a bit of stuff in this lake. This is cool just to be able to walk right up on it. It's kind of like a history lesson. As we go down through here and just walk out. We're now on the other side of the dock. Again, all this used to be underground or underground, underwater. Okay guys, there's the sign, getting them out of the water. Hey, do you want this old bottle or not? Uh, Shit! Look! What? You see the snake? No, I didn't. I saw the water moving when you yelled. <laughs> wow, I hope I'm able to zoom in on that. A freaking snake just went from up there to there. Snake Island. Huh? Sport fish restoration. Yeah. If you guys can see that, we found a sign. Old bottle. Guarded by snakes. It's going to start raining here in a few minutes. So we're trying to cover as much ground as we can. There's going to be a thunderstorm coming in. we got to come back and check it out. Yeah, we'll definitely come back and check this stuff out again. Snakes. Big raindrops coming in, big ones. Guys, we've got just a few minutes. And some poopy, some dog crap right there. Goose. Goose? Of goose. Geese. Wait a 
that and that and you're in a perfect circle. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of crap out here, guys. A lot of crap. Is that a dead fish or plastic right there? This right here. Another one of these. Looks like a fish. That is a fish. Here, let me get a... Uh, let me get a stick, Stampy. Where there is no snakes. Look at all this crap. Literally. There's a lot of crap out here. Okay. I've got my pet stick. Here's my trident. Now, where was I just at? Hey, I can actually fight a snake now. Yeah, this is kind of where I threw it. Yeah, I th well, I don't think it's a clam. I don't know, it might be. Muscle, clam, whatever it is. But there it is, back out of the water. Look guys, look what a big freaking catfish that was at one time if you guys can get that right mmm yum look at that baby look what a catch of the day mmm mm -hmm. oh god that's gross you can see like the back of it oh wouldn't pull that up with a magnet here's another shell let's see if this guy's alive or not See if he's alive. You afraid to touch it? Probably. Oh yeah, that guy's still in there. This guy's still alive, I'm gonna throw it back out. It's better with the butterfly. It's on a piece, is that metal? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> We would have got that with the magnet. It's not even open, guys. If you want me to, I'll send this to you. Oh gosh. I can't guarantee it hasn't been there since 1980, but right there, I could ship that to you first class for $4.99. Hey guys, look at all the rain. Whoa! Thunderstorm. Look! Look over there! That's where we just were, guys! Look at that! Welcome to Snake Island, guys, where you can only get bit once and the hospital is 15 miles away. You may die. <laughs>